Hey guys, Protected Productions, I'm Chris Stoneman. Here with me today, I've got Chris Clark, Case Cornelesa, and Kristen Smith. It's Attack of the K's today, slash C for me, I guess. But, uh, oh, my word. We're in for a fun one. Heroes, the slightly rebranded heroes, that being uh, John Schnepp, and now Hector Navarro taking on Blofeld's cat. Robert Meyer Burnett and Mark Andreco, the other players of the Lions Den. Um, Clark as the forced to be a Lions Den fan. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling about this match? I just had a really rough one last time. If this happens again, no, <laughs> mother of God. That's all I have to say. Uh, Kristen, who you got in this one? Yes. I am wearing my shirt ah. to note who I am going for. Team Heroes all the way. Oh, Kristen, Kristen. Amen, amen. Case, are you gonna are you gonna join us over here in the Heroes, or are you gonna go over to the dark side? I'm more of a Bond fan, so Blofeld's cat. Case is my hero. No pun intended. <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, today. Wow. All oh, the but, pu- um. All- Oh, it's actually funny. Two, two. Blofeld's cat, um, Chris and myself, and you guys on the hero side. The correct side. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. You guys, so you guys are painting me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clark, I mean, look. You I'm, paint I'm, yourself. I, I, unfortunately, because you, you took a lot of flack this weekend, and we, we thank you because you've been a trooper, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sorry. I think the end's going to see you cry again because we are going to click play in three, two. One play. You better be wrong, my friend. You know what? Just for your sake, I do hope I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. For your sake, I hope I'm right. I hope you're a commander for your sake. Until I joined. Heroes are not as forgiving. And let me just say, cat since that time, no? I've lost mm. twice. Damn it. I lost Guys, we'll Ball, moment. I lost Jeremy Jones. Why? Why did I lose? <laughs> Because I was not on the Outlaws podcast. What has being the a master yeller ever, ever got me? I do not need you. I will rise on my own. Or I will join a team that is worthy of me. Anyone. Wait. Any team. Oh, shit. I'm yours no, right now. Come and get it. Come and get the new No, this is no, new no, no, no. Help me Wait a minute. How I felt. Wait a minute, JT. Wait a minute. The Lion's uh, Den? Yeah. What is this? Get the, the Lion's Den is here? What the minute? This, this is what I'm talking no about. Way. This is a team. What in the this world? is a championship group of guys. We have had the honor of sitting down with that I man. Gotta, and it was amazing. Twice. Twice. Ah, uh, th- this moment. <laughs> this was the imp- hilarious. You know the like, improv man, is fantastic. Wait a minute, dude. We're three and one. <laughs> We're like in contention for a belt. <laughs> like, yeah, there's different levels. Like, we're we're in contention for heroes. Yeah. For a belt, but we're not villains. <clears throat> Dig what I'm saying? Like, I can't be down. Like, wait, you, wait, you wait. teamed up with Finstock, dude. I mean, what, what are you saying? Moment. I mean, we're heroes, man. We're a team. <laughs> we, we 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 did four of these things. I was I we won three times. So. I'm saying, like, right now, until you actually kind of come to your senses. Like heroes, I'm dissolving. I'm dissolving the team. What better teammate? What kind of a hero? Who are you talking about? Who are you gonna get? What Inman? Oh God. Hector Navarro? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh... amazing. Uh, that was I will come for that pip squeak. <laughs> Gotta love Rob. <laughs> Everybody loves Robert. Yeah, he was probably the most uh, disliked character on that show. Welcome back to the Ultimate Schmodown. It's the Team League 
And Mark, it is something of rivalries here in this next round. This oh, next Christian, match. this is the best rivalry of all time. It is good guys versus next bad round. guys, heroes versus Christian. villains. Literally, who the hell is Blofeld and what is going on with his cat? That's right, it is Team Heroes versus Blofeld's cat. Ellis? That's right, the Lion's Den representing the Blofeld's cat Why? team. Mark and Draco and Robert Why? Meyer Burnett. How did this happen? Uh, that is a formidable question, and it's an even more formidable team when you combine these two movie trivia powerhouses into one team. Christian, what the Ooh. hell was the drama behind the scenes? Oh, there's tons of it, because if you look at Heroes' record, Heroes has that one particular thing they were able to do. John Schnepp formed the Heroes team, and he was able very early on to maneuver like a baseball team, if you will, so he can mix and match people. He was a John Campy at one point played on the team, and then you also, you had him, you had, you had Robert Meyer Burnett and Schnepp together. They were three and one collectively. And then once Robert Meyer Burnett made the decision to join the Lion's Den, it wasn't mm. the horseman part of it, it was the mm -hmm. Lion's Den. Mm -hmm. When that happened, Schnepp had had enough. Schnepp and Dagnino have had their problems in the past. And that was the last straw. He said, I need someone that's actually gonna be a hero. Who better than Hector Navarro? And I also think it was a way to really yeah, stick to fair, it to Burnett Navarro's because you know the beef that those two have. Oh, absolutely. The bad blood is boiling backstage and it's about to spill out oh boy, onto our main <laughs> set. I mean, heroes, a myriad so of injuries, good. literally and figuratively, have plagued them in the past. This Blofeld's cat squad, this is an intriguing pussy. It, nice. Yeah. Um, Jesus well, also, the thing is, Christ. is that you look at or Tom uh, you know, on, Come on. Uh, he's been yeah. able to, he, look, he's a, he's a for lack of a better word, he's, he's a moron. Movie, but the, the point is, <laughs> yes, he's he is. able yes, he is, to somehow, he has managed the Patriots 7-0. and They are 7-0 and with four title defenses. And he's saying that he wants to get this new team, his team, to play the champions and keep it inside of the family. That's the goal. That's the mission. But we're going to see if they're going to be able to do it today because it's a tough team. That's right. And there's been a lot of trash talking here in this match oh, yeah. between the heroes oh, yeah. and the Blowfields cat. Here's a quick look. <laughs> This guy John Schnepp said, claims he doesn't like villains? I saw the guy shaking down like underprivileged kids at a, a comic book store earlier today. Oh. I see this belt on your shoulder. Oh, there. yeah. That's the wow, Inner Geekdom Tom. Championship That's right. belt, right? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. How did you take that from? I can't remember his name. Oh. That's right. Robert Meyer Burnett. That's right. Yeah, I did. That guy. Okay, let me just tell you about this, all right? I mean, Team Heroes, I got kicked off my own team. We are three and one. We are team contender for the title. I got kicked off my own team. I took Schnepp, I took Campia, I had to change up my own team, and I still won. You know why? I won those games. What happened That's with true. Robert is he slowly became yep. the villain, and I felt like I'm on a show called Heroes, and yeah. we're playing this game called Heroes, and mm -hmm. I can't be with this guy who's talking all this mad, crazy, evil type stuff. He's sort of like, uh, you know, what Harvey Dent said, you know, sometimes a hero is a hero long enough until he becomes the villain. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. yeah. This is the beginning of our reign, and I face Hector Navarro one more time, and let me just tell you that Pipsqueak is going to be destroyed for a second time in teams by me! By me! So John Schnepp came to me and asked me to join forces with him, and when John Schnepp, the sweatiest of all sweaties, asks you to do something, you step up. And that's why I did it, because John's my bud. John's my friend. You know, any good serial killer doesn't acknowledge or humanize their prey. We're just going to go in, we're going to surgically remove them, and we're going to get to the championship with our other teammates. We're going to go up against JTE and Schneider, and whoever wins wins is awesome. We're coming for you. That's all I can really say about yeah, it. Yeah, but so. like in a nice way. Like, yeah. hey, we're coming for you. Yeah, we're gonna, in a non posturing, completely confident way. Yeah, like we're going to win it. Hey. Hey, good luck, but don't. Yeah, see ya. We got it. <laughs> yeah. See luck. you later. Maybe not. Bottom line, heroes. Guys are losers. I'll tell you who the real loser is, Grace. You are. And she did it backwards, uh, which is great. She's well the Ouija. <laughs> A lot of, uh, not as much <laughs> screaming as I thought from Burnett, but there certainly was some. But it was, it was the end. It was the Mark and Draco up, basically <laughs> saying, you can be emotional. That's fine. I'm here to Clark, also I love help you. you out, win the game here, and go and play our brother in here in the Patriots to play them in the spectacular. That's his goal. That's what he wants to do. Mark and Draco, when he is on fire, is one of the best in the game. That's right. That's why I, I like this, forward, this combination of possibly combustible chemistry with Robert Meyer Burnett getting emotional and going three sheets to the win. Mark Andreco has the calm, warm hands of a professional masseuse. He knows how to get movie trivia questions right, too. Well, the question is how Schnepp and Navarro, how are they going to work as a team? We know we've seen them on the show Heroes together. We've seen them work together. They're both really funny guys. They both know a lot of stuff. But how do they work as a team? We're going to find that out today 
I'm ready to go. I am ready to go, but I care more about you. You already said you're ready to go. I guess we'll just introduce people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time for the movie <laughs> trivia <laughs> showdown. No Three rounds in the ultimate showdown team division. Introducing first. They won't need all three. Representing the Lions Den. Making their showdown team debut. The Android, Woo! Mark, and Draco, and the captain, Robert, Maya Burnett, Bluffin, Cat! There they go. Oh, it's, it's Blow. Blow well, fell. As an star, bro, Blow fell the head of Spectre. Thank you. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, get over there. Get over here. Get over there. Is it Blow felt or Blow hard, Christian? Uh, <laughs> Blow felt's cat is here. The oh, notorious man. villain well, from wow. James Bond. Yeah, and now. Screaming, yeah. yelling at everybody. All right, so there you I'm go. Baby, you don't, obviously, coming out with the trench coat. Uh, no, never. That scared that me more than doing? anything else that Burnett did. The trench coat that Nino had on, and Grace Hancock is just becoming more devious every time. <coughs> <you're laughs> so That's so right, and Draco coming out all business. Robert Byron Burnett Fourth apparently line. raiding Wayne right Newton's right wardrobe from the early 70s <laughs> to get here Split today. And oh, that joke again. <laughs> their opponents, oh, representing gosh. Metropolis, Gotham, wow. and Stark Tower. <laughs> They have a record of three wins, one now defeat. I want to get high. Big John Schnepp, Hector <laughs> the Nightmare Navarro. Wow. Team Pisco. Oh, oh, the oh, there is. Look at him. Look at him flaunting They're going to lose. Right in front of Burnett. Right. Just yeah. flaunting it. In his face. Look at that. <laughs> just rubbing it in, trying to get well, Burnett worked lose, up. But, uh, and I think it's working. Head. Isn't that belt about 70% yours, Rob? Not for long. Oh, oh yes, it is. He's doing a little As bit of Wonder Woman spin. Most yeah. heroes look at that. Victories. Look at that. Zero. Zero. 75% of them are mine. <laughs> oh, he just right. loves taunting. Navarro loves taunting Burnett. They're going to find a way to put Burnett into the screen. All right. I love that movie. All right, here we go. Let me dream. Let me dream. Let me dream. Look at John Schnepper no, knows exactly what no, he's Clark, doing. No, in your, in your dreams, uh, uh, Bibbs joins oh the line. Oh, sorry, oh, oh, Robert leaves the line show and joins the show. Schnepper loves it. Look at Schnepper. Hashtag <laughs> All right, here. Like a good cartoon what are they good All right, for? the murderous cows are here, and we are starting to get into it. Round number one, Mark, how does it work? In round number one, you will hear a series of eight questions from eight different movie Robert, categories. This, Each question is worth this. one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, nor is there stealing. Once you hear the question asked up here, Please write down your answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please show it to the camera at the same time you audibleize it. Keep in mind, eight different questions, eight different movie categories. Team Heroes, are you ready? Yes. yes. Team Blowhard's Cat, are you ready? We've mm -hmm. been waiting a long time for this. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> and let's get ready to schmodown! Oh. Sexualize <laughs> so much. All right. Snap holding up a Blofeld's baby. Wow. All right, there you go. Wow. All right. All right, here we go. Round number one, question number one. In the realm of action adventure, who plays as Dr. Watson in 2009's Sherlock Holmes? Is that the, uh, the Netflix one or the BBC one? Doctor. No, it was theatrically uh, the theatric elementary show on CBS. Yes. You ever seen yeah. that? It was theatrically released. <laughs> and Lucy Owens. Liu? Five. <laughs> four. <coughs> three. Two, one, pens down. Jude Law. Upside down, please. There we go. <laughs> but can you say it? Say it, please. Jude Law. That is correct. Mark Andrego. Jude Law. Correct. Hector Navarro. Jude Law. And Robert Barber. No, I, I didn't get it, but I knew oh, it was Jude Law. Oh, he did not have it. Wow. No. So that misses that. No. You didn't know it was Jude Law. No. Nobody told us okay. that. All right. No. Well, Wait, okay. guys, guys. Your next question comes from the world and the second. realm of comedy. And your question is thus. What 2014 comedy stars Seth Rogen and James Franco as <laughs> journalists recruited to assassinate Kim Jong Un? This one was a lot uh, funnier than there. people give it credit for. Never. No. <laughs> never. Well, I, had a certain no. Of, uh, I wouldn't either, would you? Uh, no, I would not. Five, I am no Dennis Rod. Four. What's three, it called? That's true. Two, <clears throat> one. Pens down, snap. The interview. And Mark Andrego. The interview? Correct. Hector. Good timing, guys. The interview? Correct. And <laughs> Burnett. 
the interview. Correct, Schnapp. Thank you. The question mark? The question mark is incorrect. Oh. So Heroes and Blowville, that was the miss from Schnapp, so that actually got Robert Robert Burnett off Mark the is still the perfect. It's hard to sit here next to this guy. Yeah. All right, question number exactly. three in category of uh, dramas. Mark and what was the weapon of choice used by the killer not that Michael Douglas is trying to track down in Basic Instinct? I watched that movie a lot as a kid. Yeah, but not for the right reasons. <laughs> that was an entertaining thriller. Right? I have no idea. Five, <laughs> that was your full of <laughs> Three. A lot of pen throwing in this. Two, thing. one, and Hector Navarro. Knife. That's I was same. gonna write down vagina, but that would have been not. <laughs> so I got nothing. He didn't say anything. Nothing. So. Yeah. All right, and yeah. Robert Meyer Burnett. That would be an ice pick. Oh, that is correct. Oh. Yeah. A knife. That's incorrect. And Draco. Ice, ice pick. pick. There you go. Oh. Kind of taking a two-point lead oh. here over Team Heroes. Oh, Next one. I want to give Navarro points for vagina so <laughs> bad. Right. I just can't do it. So our you next... don't have enough vagina points to share. <laughs> I keep all of them for myself. Horror Thriller is the next category. Who played Sebastian Kane, a.k.a. the Invisible Man, in 2000's Hollow Man? Are you a hollow man? We, we love this game. I'll be playing. Five. That was the original theme song. It was cut. Soul Man, I think, is Three, what you're thinking of. Two. Oh. C. Thomas Howell. Oh. One. And Robert Meyer Burnett. Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Correct. Nick Cage. Right? Kevin That's Bacon. That's a good answer. Turn it upside down. Kevin Bacon. And, okay, you had it. <laughs> Bacon. Yeah. Kevin Bacon. All right. I gave, I gave Kevin Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. had it. All right. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> five. Bacon. Seven, five. All right. There I go. Category of fantasy sci-fi, what musician, I just heard Brianne Chandler say, ugh, uh, <laughs> what musician played the role oh, of villain Feed, Feed? Fine? Stay, fade, Ralpha. Thank you. <laughs> what musician played the role of villain oh! Fade, Ralpha, in <laughs> David Lynch's <laughs> Dune? Can wow. you repeat that question, please? What? That doesn't count. You don't have to, that does not count as and one Draco, of your And you ask him. All right, hold on. What, Wait, <laughs> what, what famous rock musician portrayed the villain as Fade Rautha in hold David on, Lynch's let me, Dune? Let me do it again. <laughs> what musician <laughs> played the fade role of villain Fade Rautha in David Lynch's Dune? All right. Fade. And this was like five. So the Shmoda, since four, we can't see the, the three, first. Will the answer fade? Two, yeah, one, Schnepple Roos. Sting. Sting. Fade. Sting. Correct. Oh, yeah. Huh. He wore a fetching blue Speedo. Sting. Hector. I forgot uh, he was Bowie, the right. Oh, and Hector. Ooh, I mean, and, uh, okay and he too, said, though. I will kill him. Sting. What? All right, so you got yes. Blofeld's cat, 9 6. You know, one point with that Hector miss. 9 6. <laughs> as we now get into yes, the next yeah, category. I apologize. Of 1980s <laughs> movies. <laughs> movies released in the 80s. Your question is thus years. What veteran actor played Bud Fox's father in the film Wall Street? Bud Fox's. Reed wow. is good. Starring Pat Riley. Mark and Draco has missed you, I think. Uh, he usually throws perfect games. Five. He's consternated here, though. Four. The answer is not Sting. Three. The answer is not Sting. Two. One. Pence down, no, and Draco. No, no, no. Cocaine? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Cocaine. Uh, Hector. Michael Douglas? Incorrect. Uh, Robert Meyer Burnett. Martin Sheen. Correct uh, for one point. Schnepp. Oliver Reed. Incorrect. Yes. So, R&B, well, okay. the only one getting that one. Nice right. Ten, job. six. After that one. All right, here we go. Next one. We have comic book movies. Gonna be Ooh, comic yeah. book movies. What is the name of the individual that runs the Weapon X program in the X-Men franchise? It's a good job to have. It is. Ask me what I do for a living. What do you do for a living? I run Weapon X. Uh, yeah, that's a good <laughs> line. In a so the answer is Mark Ellis. Yeah. So the answer is Mark right. Ellis. Oh, oh, you're an accountant. Five. <laughs> I run Weapon X. Four, three. Two, one. Pens down and. Colonel William off. Stryker. Stryker. You should have killed me when you had the chance. William Stryker. <laughs> Correct. Uh, well done. And, uh, Burnett. Oh, I Why? forgot to answer. It's Stryker. Stryker. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Schnepp. <laughs> totally couldn't remember. Oh, wow. Whoa. And Whoa. You got it. Yes. That's his wheelhouse. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, what did that was? I, I have never. I can't believe Stryker's that. Stryker's the best X-Men villain. Stryker's the best X-Men And the last yeah. question here. Comes from the world of I, directors. I These are people who have directed a movie. Ant-Man director is the best Peyton one. Reed also directed what oh. film that is about a champion high school two. cheerleading? Oh. Huh. Not uh, any high school cheerleading, mind you. A championship Championship level. one. That's the whole point. You don't go to compete. You go to win. Five, four, three, two, one. Robert. Bring it on. Bring it, Bring it on. Correct. Snap. 
Uh, I get it on. I couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot. Of other what kind of cheerleaders did you go to school with? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Mark, know, Mark and Draco. Sexy song. Bring it on. Correct. Doug. And Hector. The godfather of cheerleading movies. Bring it on. Correct. So how about that? Six Both points. Draco and Burnett only yeah. missed one point apiece. That's really impressive for a debut for a team. That's right. Blofeld's cat playing a lot more like Goldfinger <laughs> than The World Is Not Enough early in the game. Uh, Neither see. one of those movies had Blofeld's cat in it. Do I, I just want to point that out. All right, so here we go now as we get to round number two. In round two, each team is going to get a series of six questions from a movie category that is on that there wheel. If you don't like the category you spin at first, you are awarded one mulligan, at which point whatever you spin, you must answer those six questions. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one, there is stealing in round two, and Blofeld's cat. Right. You guys well, this are looks in like it's the going lead. one way, but Do you want to show your cause me, now or defer to Team Hero? So many more ways. We'll go first. All right, here we go. Big spin. And Draco, the the con surprisingly they're not letting yeah, Burnett so with all that energy spin the wheel. Big spin, big spin here, oh, and it's gonna land. You know they're looking for comic book movies. Good luck, guys. Action, action adventure. adventure. Action adventure. You gonna stick with well, action? It's actually stuck on the middle of the it's, spike. It's just it pointing towards action. it. It's pointing towards it. Action no, no. adventure. We're gonna spin again. We'll spin again. Smart. Spin again. They like. Oh, that's a good looks you would think, Christian. Yeah, well, no, I, th I think you there's know? a lot up there. Good luck, that guys. I, th I think there's a lot. Yeah, I think action adventure, maybe they're, they're going to regret, regret, regret not taking it. Classics. 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 I think I, oh, I mean, this, this could be a strength for uh, yeah. Fran Draco, though, so I don't think we're that big of a deal. That's right. When, right before we went to air and the competitors saw what the wheel was, Burnett's face lit up when he saw classics. This is like movies like Tango and Cash, right. Under Siege, right. The Greats. All right, here we go, guys. If those are classics for you, we got bigger problems. Six questions here, guys. Six questions in the world of classics here we go question one <laughs> director john ford's dramatic comedy mr roberts marked the last feature film performance of what actor oh no five um multiple choice a james cagney b henry fonda c, william powell Jack lemon d william powell William Powell. Yep. Correct for one point. Whoa! Correct. All right, and here we go. What is Come the on. name of the 1963 romantic mystery starring Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn? Charade. Charade. For two points. <laughs> oh. For two points. They practiced that answer. Good. Remade by Jonathan Demme starring Marky Mark called The Truth About Charlie. Good Lord. Oh, here we go. Oh, sucks. Number, number three. <laughs> Question three. What classic Billy Wilder film noir was the basis for the plot in director Lawrence Kasdan's oh. neo noir Body Heat, starring Kathleen Turner and Will oh. Hurt? Go to multiple choice, please. I don't know what my They're going to go to multiple. Come on. Five team heroes guessing the strand. Multiple choice. A, Ace in the Hole. B, Double Indemnity. Double C, oh. The Maltese Falcon. D, Sunset Boulevard. It's not Maltese Falcon. Or no, I think it might be. Double indemnity? Correct, yeah, for one nice. point. Right. Right. All right, there you go. Yeah, Negotiating yeah. their way yeah. through yeah. the yeah. tricky yeah. world of classics. Yeah. All right, number four. Number four. Who they played the it, wizard though. in The Wizard of Oz? Ooh. Oh, oh it's uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is it A, Ed Wynn? Um, B, Frank Ian Morgan. Wynn, right, it's Frank Morgan. C, Frank yeah. Morgan. D, Claude Rains. It's Claude Rains. Edwin? That's incorrect. Oh, no. Steal. Can you give us uh, the four again? Of course. Uh, okay, hey, Edwin. B. Keenan Win. C. Frank Morgan. D. Claude Frank Rains. Frank Morgan was a scarecrow. Frank no, Morgan. That's correct. Oh, what? Right. 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 We totally knew that. We totally knew that. Number five. Totally knew that. Question five for <laughs> Blofeld's cat here. In which crime drama did Humphrey Bogart portray an embedded ex-GI who became trapped in a Why southern he? hotel? By both a hurricane key. and a group of mobsters. Key Largo. For two points. Key Largo. Uh, nice. Humphrey Bogart, I don't think he's in my Very big. Andrew Echo was just waiting for you to finish Surely asking the Angels with dirty faces is what I was thinking. Your last question <laughs> here in the world of classics. Who directed the 1960 <gasps> historical yeah. epic Spartacus? Stanley Kubrick. For two yeah. points. Yes. Oh, Jeez, boy, go. what a way to big. close out. That's big there. They the have a 13-point lead, but here comes Team Heroes. Go ahead and give that wheel a spin, Mr. Navarro. on it. 
And that's a big there it is. heroic oh, spin by Navarro. Happy it. about his I own so. spin, celebrating yeah. with a fist bump. Yeah, it's the issue is, a even if they, if they oh, Christian, don't I, I like where get this is question going. right, then. Oh. It could be. Uh, oh. 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 The 2000s. You guys can spin again or keep it. Were you alive in the 2000s? Children of Men, Minority Report. Even Navarro. There's not a lot on there that are the weaknesses either. It is actually fun That's to spin again. Oh, spin again. Yeah. Spin yeah. again. Oh, okay. We're going to go for it. Going away from the 2000. Will the thrill of physically spinning overtake what should have been the call to go <laughs> There's in no 2000? Call. No matter what we land on, I'll just remember this moment. It was fun there to spin. To yeah. It was fun to spin. Twice. I'll just remember this. Twice. Yeah. Oh my god! Wow! Spinning! Comic book movie! They did it! It was fun to spin! That is what Wait. heroes with or with yes, Navarro, they've been able to do it. The oh, schnep magic perfect. continues here as we get comic well, book movies. See, when I, when I pre I, whenever I play roulette, I just look away from the wheel. There we go. All right. <laughs> that yeah. is right. A Remember, chance kids. to come back here and avoid the knockout. Comic book movies is the category very fortuitously so for Team Heroes. Your question, wow. number one. Doctor Strange uses what form of magic to assist Christine Palmer in his own surgery? The same thing. Astral That's projection. Fun. Uh, astral projection. Give him two points. There you go. There you go. Give him two oh, points. Yeah, Not right. easy to use. Sorry, I just took Your over. Your next question. Pages. Grammar Nazi Which ways. comic book <laughs> movie had characters thinking that Earth was called Planet Houston? Uh, Superman 2. Give him two go. more points. Nice. Team Heroes doing it again. Perfect. Team Heroes doing it again. Coming back, cutting into that lead. They got their rally caps on. Your next question. In X-Men First Class, Argentina. in what South this, American this, country this, 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 does I, I Eric find the two well. Nazis he's been searching for? You did. You... Argentina. Two more points, <laughs> Hector and Schnepp. Yes. Movies. Oh, it's a category they want, and we see why so far. In the Avengers, Tony Stark is showing wearing a T-shirt featuring a popular heavy metal band. AC what DC. band was it? Say Meatloaf. They won't. <laughs> Say it. Five. Mm. Four. Black three. Sabbath. Two oh! points for two! comic book movies. Hector Navarro Aggressive. here. You know Trust they wanted ACDC. They wanted to say ACDC. <laughs> so two more here. Two questions left. I Your wish you listened to the people in this reaction, two comic guys. Book movies. What name was given to the superhuman created by Lex Luthor Nuclear man. in Superman 4, Nuclear The man. Quest for Peace? Yeah. They got this. Nuclear man. Wow. <laughs> In order to get two points wow. behind these are, here, these are sweep the board. Questions. I hate that I know that. This is the well, last. For In order people to get two, who aren't super point. sweaty, <laughs> then <laughs> they aren't. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, but they're, wow. They're super last sweat. question. Round two. What is the Ghost name Spirit of, uh, of the Ghost yeah, Rider of sequel? That one was Piece a little of bit shit. of a one. Ghost Rider 2, yep. Piece of Shit. Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Wow! We have a one point, one point game. One point game. They okay. cut it down to oh. one point. There's no possibility My of a tie Lord, here. Lord, that was that. something else. Yeah, they got two that's points. Great. That's a perfect round two. Nice. That was something else. That was a perfect yes, round yes. two as we now oh, yeah, get to round two. number three. Team In round three, oh. each team oh. is going to give us oh. here at the oh. desk oh. a series of numbers ranging from one to 20 because Blofeld's Cat is still in the lead. They're going to give us their numbers first each number corresponds to a movie category up here <laughs> this game is a lot closer to three points so. points oh you think you think because you think. this is the team I format mean, each yeah, team yeah. must choose which competitor it's is best if, if wolfeld cat hits all three they break answer the three the points record in a non-title match confer with your teammate which is all awesome. the five point uh, question all right wolfeld cat you guys have the one point lead here please pick three numbers from one to twenty Clark, 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 we have to have a talk. Just, just, just come to the Clark. good side. Come to the good well, four, No, six, I don't want Clark. your cookies. It'll all be okay. We'll let you heroes. down gently. Uh, three. <laughs> Fifteen. Twenty-one. Uh, can't do that one. one uh, Twenty-two. Can't do that. One to twenty. 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 Nine. 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 All right. So All right. three, fifteen, and nine. Better at reading uh -oh. comic books than they were at math. It's too hard to be mad. Okay. So you guys, our heroes, are going to oh go first because they are down one point in order to. <laughs> Avoid the TKO, but all you got to do to do that is get your two-pointer right, and that is in the category of 
Disney films. Who will be taking the Disney <laughs> films for two yep. points? Smart. <laughs> Hector Navarro. Yeah. All right. Well, not uh, smart, but... Hector for two points. Which classic Disney character baked a gooseberry pie while singing Someday My Prince Will Come? Uh, Snow White. Are you kidding? Snow, Snow White. White. So Can you repeat the question, please? Yep, that's your... What kind of pie? Repeat the question. Which classic Disney character baked a gooseberry pie while singing Someday My Prince Will Come? <sighs> this is making me feel... Snow White. Yes! No. Two points. No. Two points. There it is. Yeah. Took his time, answered it. Now it goes back to Blofeld's cat. All right. Blofeld's cat in the uh, odd position in this match of actually trailing... Team Heroes, your category, Perfect. you selected Weary, like, number four. That was a Robert Meyer Burnett call. James Bond. The category is family films. Who oh, would like to take it? I feel like Andreco is going to take this one. I'll take it. All right, oh, Burnett's going to really? take it. He's Thank not thrilled about it. it. He's right, not thrilled about the decision. Here we go. For two wrong, points, too. throw it back to Heroes. Mr. RMB, your question is, who played R.L. Stein oh. Jack Black. Yeah. Goosebumps? That is so softball. I didn't see it. <laughs> Robert. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh no. gosh. Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, but they did not get the points for that. Amazing. So it goes now. The three pointer well, now Chris. goes to Andreco. Andreco uh, now gets the three pointer in order to throw it back. Right. Mark, 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 Mark Andreco, your category. How does that make you feel? selected number 16 quite quickly. <laughs> that corresponds to horror thriller. Okay. Question is, in 2009's hit film Zombieland, Emma Stone goes by the name of what Midwestern city? Mon oh, what Midwestern city? I was going to say Midwestern Montana, city? too, so I'm glad that I wasn't alone. Tori? No, it's not. No. I want to say Columbus, but that's not right. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is not right. We were looking for Wichita. Wichita. So it comes down. Columbus Wichita. was just oh. yeah. comes down now. They have to get their five. They have All right, to get their five. You, you, okay. you may confer, uh, and your question is from the world of the 1980s. Oh, shit, they're going to get this. 80s movie oh, they they might get it. is your five-point category. They'll get this. They'll get this. And your question is, in which science fiction drama does Karen Allen play a widower named Jenny Starman. Starman. Starman is correct. I didn't even finish the question. Starman is correct. correct. Yeah. All right, so 27, wow. 23. Oh. Nice. Nice. Now we need to get their five. Hero, Heroes is basically going to be forced to they answer their five in order to win, but this we'll see. three-point question is a mere warm-up. doesn't warm matter. For they can just skip it. Let's just go straight right. to so the five. So we're going to get right. Heroes on 15 <laughs> here. Except because, Heroes is on my, the question 15 on my fantasy team, so more points for me, please. Thank you. And I want my bracket movies. to recover, okay. please. <laughs> Name the two <laughs> actors who have played long distance runner. Oh, Steve two? Martin. That's unfair. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> that's, Can I that's answer it even if it's not points? I gotta name two? Both of them? Yeah. <laughs> One of the movies count in the world popular. of fantasy. Can you repeat the question? Yep. Name the two actors who have played long distance runner Steve Prefontaine. That's. That's rough. That's an ouch. <laughs> the joy, the okay. joy. I'll just say Jake Gyllenhaal. Can I, can I answer? You can answer. Go ahead. Billy Crudup and Jared Leto? Correct. You don't get any wow. points for that, but you definitely yeah. do. Comic book movies. <laughs> All right. Just saying. That's, That's the exactly. only sports Billy question Crudup. I would ever know. So, four. The only one I knew was Jared Leto. Oh, Billy Crudup. Five points. In the category of Directors. Oh. Category of directors. Huh? Who directed Shakespeare oh, come in on. Love? Come on. Oh no. Yes. Come yes. on. The you best guys can pull this out. It. Five. Four. Repeat the question. Come on. Three. Repeat the question. Hurry. Two. One. Repeat the question. Hey, oh, no! Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Mark. Robert Meyer Burnett! <laughs> oh, oh bad sportsmanship there. And you know, the 
the crowd might not be happy about it. The answer was John Madden, not the same NFL broadcaster slash head coach. John Madden. What a performance by Blofeld and Hero. I mean, Hero's running through round two to get them squarely back in the contest. Blofeld's cat just a little too sharp for him. The answer was John Madden. John, John Madden. Madden was the answer. Here you got a team they of just, losers, but, boom. But they came back and they did it. So now we're gonna go back to Jen Sturger, who is with Team Heroes and Grace Hancock with the winners, Blofeld Scott. Hey, Schmodown fans, I'm Grace Hancock Boo. here with the newest member of our team, the Lions Den, Mr. Robert Meyer Burnett. Okay. That was a very good game, you guys. You guys make a great team. That was a pretty close game. We got a little nervous towards the end there, but if they hadn't gotten comics, we would have absolutely slaughtered them. How that's, are you guys feeling? That's correct. Well, I, you know, I gotta say, I feel great. I had three really bad singles matches. I think it threw off my game going after Hector Navarro as much as I did. I, I my, my thinking was cleared uh, in this game. I am so happy to have teamed up with Mr. Andreco here, who I've admired for many, many years. And I think we make a good team, and I'm happy that I was able in my team match to make a good showing for the Lions Den. Yeah, I thought this was, it was a, it was a nail biter because uh, you, I've been in rounds when I played this when you get ahead in the first round and you can never get smug. I even said to him, I said, we can't get smug because it can change on a dime. Yeah. And we did really well in the classics category, but there were a yeah, couple like, killed. for some reason, I didn't remember that Billy Wilde, I said double indemnity, but we weren't sure if Billy yeah. Wilder directed it. So we went for the four, uh, multiple, multiple choice. choice. And then they got the comic book category, which was like, oh God, of course they're going to catch up. Those yeah. questions were really in their, in their wheelhouse and pretty easy. But then, right. as I've said since I've competed here, the wheel and the, the and the uh, question randomizer is the great equalizer. They got a sports question, which was, which was really <laughs> yeah. tough. It's Hard the only sports, sports question I'll question. probably ever know. We were all game. very impressed. That's why I had to say it. I had to go on record of knowing a sports question. <laughs> and then the director question, the five-pointer, was a tough one because yeah. I knew the first name of that. I was like, John, what? And I wouldn't have known it either. So hmm. all in all, it was a fun game. They're great competitors. I would have, If we had lost to them, it would have been a noble loss because they were And really Draco, smart. thank you for game. being respectful. Yeah, I appreciate them, it. So I don't think anybody has anything He's to be embarrassed about. He's the only redeeming quality of again, the Lion's Den. the fickle finger of fate yeah. that decides who wins <laughs> these things. Well, look at you being such a gentleman. Well, that's because no, we won. Hang that's because we won. I was thrown off Team Heroes. Schnepp <laughs> killed me, took me off that team. Those three victories that they had, that was all me. That was all me. It was Campy and Schnepp, and then it was me. So let me just say, I will take just a little bit of pleasure, a little bit of pleasure that I get to take out Team Heroes. And if you'll just allow me, I got a lot of pleasure. So, so very much pleasure to defeat Hector Navarro. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. As they said in Frozen, let it go. Obviously, we're very excited to finally put this team to rest, and I'm super proud of you, and we're happy to have you, and that was a freaking great game. Thank you. It was a freaking well, great I'm game. Right by you. Thank yes, you. a great you game indeed. Guys, that was a pretty rough way to lose. Rough way, rough. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. It was all right. It was a rough way to lose. Losing Let's to Shakespeare real. in Love is not really a loss. No, Robert, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <four> team matches. <laughs> I mean, sports oh, that movie does so suck. The you Academy guys Awards. Too. Like, what happened that third not round? Just you us. guys were so confident going into that last round. Yeah, the, I seem to get these multiple questions, like Snow White, name all seven dwarves, or name two or three dudes yeah, running in a sports movie like, that I could care less about. <laughs> and I had, I was like, one of them uh, is like, uh, I think it was like uh, Dr. Manhattan. He almost played the Hulk. And now he's in the Justice League movie. Yeah, Billy, uh, Billy something or other, and I just couldn't get him, and I would have never gotten Lido. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's that's just what happens sometimes. I think Andreco did an incredible job. I just listen the right off the bat, John and I got to say, what a match against Mark Andreco. Mark Andreco really just won the whole thing. Mark Andreco is so smart; he knows all of his movie trivia. We got no problem losing to the singular fighter of Mark Andreco. Yeah, the yeah. the pure intellect and but power of yeah. someone like Mark Andreco. I have absolutely no problem. But there were two men on the stage. What? And, how, and how do you feel about losing? <laughs> what are you talking him? about? There wasn't two men on the stage. It was Mark Andreco, and he had like a prop or something. <laughs> That's all he had. Yeah, there was Pretty a sure screaming, was like uh, some kind of Pretty cat, sure. a very loud cat or something. Some kind of screeching cat. Pretty sure that's Burnett. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Some kind of a but cat or something. But you did have a perfect round, too. How stoked were you when you hit comic books? Uh, you know what? I When Hector was like, you know what? It, it feels good to spin, right? And what did you say? <laughs> I said, I won't forget this moment that I, it felt good to spin twice, whatever it lands on. And then it landed on. Yep. Totally looked away. Like when I pr play roulette, when I feel like that big 21's coming up, I looked away and it was like, I hear people cheer and I look yeah. over. That's it. And it's like, as soon as it landed on comic book movies, I'll be honest, they, did, they had such a strong first round that I went, unless we land on comic book movies and get each 
two point question correct to catch to essentially catch up, they're gonna win. And as soon as it landed on comic book movies, I'm like, all right, cool, we have a match now because we're about to get 12 points. I don't mean for that to sound cocky, but <laughs> you're like, oh, this this round's <laughs> <in the> back. <laughs> Remember, we are called heroes, and that we completely aced every single question. Yeah. So what's aced. next? So what's next for Heroes? You know, I know you guys are out of the tournament now. Well, I mean, but with what our, is next? Our, we've still got a, an incredible three and two, and uh, and we teamed up with a real hero like Hector. I mean, you see that he's got the Inner Geekdom Championship belt. He's not holding that because he's a villain or a loser. He's holding that because he's a winner. I'm not the greatest person on trivia. I'll be free to say it doesn't really matter to me. Sometimes I try to have fun. I don't care about these. Hey, it's Definitely. a runner. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Good, I try to have fun. Today. And I had a really fun not time playing with Hector and losing to Andreco. I got to stress, I have zero problems with it. Was a really fun, amazing match. It's not often that you see a two-on-one, but today you saw it, and Mark Andreco just ran away with. Uh, I mean, he had classics. Pretty, pretty much kind of took it. Absolutely, never. absolutely. So Speaking good for you, Mark. Speaking of this baby, mm -hmm. are you a little bit he nervous that Jay Washington might be coming for it? Oh, he I love Jay. Did. No, I'm not nervous about it. No. <laughs> no, because one time I saw Jay contest a question about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and I'm still like, Jay, you were in the wrong about that. Like, I'm still, no, it's cool. Uh, I'm not worried about it. No. <laughs> Much all, all the love to Jay, but no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, you guys are wonderful. We hope to see you back again right. soon, and, you know. Best of luck in the future. Thank you so much. Hang it, on to that, baby. It's it's a it's a brand new day on. for heroes. Yes. Yes. I, yes. It, yeah, right. Unless Rachel <laughs> takes. What a match um, this was. Big one. I mean, it, it, it was incredible to see heroes with that perfect round in yeah. round two and Blofeld's cat. They just they hung in there long enough and really tough batch of questions for the losing team. Yeah. It was very tough because look, yeah. you had because he just missed the, they battled out about the family question. Yeah. Family and had he hit that, it would have been more of an easier of, uh, not it would have been easier of a win, but. Because he missed it, it went down to the wire, and it just relied on that last. That was a hard question there with Shakespeare in Love. Oh, uh, man. But that's the way it goes. Only Pat Summerall had directed it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this edition <laughs> of the Ultimate Schmodown Movie yeah. Trivia Tournament. The Lion's Den just will not go away. And Team Heroes, this version of Hector and Schnepp, I don't think they're going away anytime soon. They were really good. Three and two now. Yeah. Really good victory by like the Vulture. That's the best Schnepp played in a long time. 23 points for a losing squad. Yeah. And a pretty high. High praise. Pretty good. All right, you guys, make sure that you comment. Check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Plus channel. Check that out. Make sure you check out Inside Schmodown every Thursday on Facebook. Keep going. We have so many good matches coming up. And obviously, check out Mr. Josh Bakuga, Fantasy Update, right now. Oh, boy. What could it be? What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCougar here with your all fantasy belts. update. Cody Hall also here, struggling to hold all of the belts. Roka, are you sure you want all the belts? Are you sure you want all the belts? <laughs> I don't think your shoulders can handle it. If Cody can't handle it, you can't handle it. I don't know. Cody looks kind of... He's not the strongest dude. But that doesn't matter. All right, we're post Blofeld Cats Team Heroes Team Tournament match. Blofeld's cat, hands down the worst name in the league since Modoc. Where are these people coming up with these awful names for these teams? <laughs> You need a team name that screams what you are all about. Exactly why my team has a name that it does. What you are going to get from Blofeld Cats going forward is and probably a lot of points. Team Mark Andreco knows his stuff. Robert Meyer Burnett is more bark than bite. If you have him in a single league, oh, drop him. Their today. team may or may not move forward. But what I do know is that Blofeld's cat really almost blew it there. They may not be the most Blofeld of a choice on the movie trivia show, <laughs> but they may be entertaining. Uh, Cody, you need another belt? Yeah, give me a belt. I, Chris, you can't now that's climb the through the that's screen all, to sorry, attack Cody. Josh. We'll see you next time on the movie Trees Mode. Uh -huh. And, okay, Clark, you can relax now. I Somebody know. you're rooting for won. <laughs> this is what victory feels like. They won't yeah. feel it for long because they're going up against top 10 next. Yeah, and they're going to beat top 10. <laughs> I love you, kids. <laughs> oh, you're being serious right now, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Blofeld Scott is a lot better than people give him credit for. And now that they actually had a match together, they're going to do well. I mean, top 10 is a good team for sure. Nose is going to choke in that match. Mm -hmm. And Blofeld Scott uh, is going to win. That's as simple as it is. To quote Chris Clark, bada bim, bada boom. Bada bim, bada boom. <laughs> The truth is hard to swallow when you're choking on your pride. I hope you know that, both of you. Top 10 is going down. <laughs> down. That's, okay, Clark, that, 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 that's cute. That's cute. But uh, now, that being so, oh, and, and to be fair, for all we know, maybe it's real rejects. That's yeah, unlikely. No. <laughs> and granted, Greg, John, Honestly, 
Uh, that I, would I like be hilarious. It. That'd be hilarious, but it's it's not gonna happen. Let's be realistic no, here. No. No. But okay, okay. I will concede that you know. Okay, this was not a case of Blofeld's cat won. Heroes lost. Yeah. Because mm. heroes had two chances to finish it. One they, chance. Uh, they had they to also, hit their five. They also had a steal, though, that they... Oh, no, they did hit the steal. They got the steal. That's right. Never mind. Never mind. Fine, you're right. They had one chance to win it. And they blew it. <laughs> Sadly. They had it all and they blew it! You <laughs> blew it! <laughs> exactly. Though, I'm blessed. Uh, yeah, this, this, this is going to upset me There's... a little bit, because, like I said, my, my, my bracket is now gone it's destroyed zero it had been gone already yeah zero percent yeah, bracket <laughs> exactly at this point i'm just gonna be batting zeros all day which is which is fine so hey, I, I, i'm three for two that's that's not bad oh, have, so, so, so your luck. record is with uh with heroes good job hmm. the way. Yeah. My, my own record by the way in the uh, in the oh, oh yeah that's right. nice nice what okay. actually is also interesting is after this match, technically Robert Meyer Burnett has won four tag team matches in a row. Yep, that's ridiculous. No, yeah. no not not four in a row. Not in a uh, row. Oh yeah, he lost one, but yeah, uh, he's won four. They, lo- okay. they yeah. lost to the Pats. Mm-hmm. That's right. Forgot about that, yo. I mean, they lost to the champions. I don't want to yeah. think about that anymore. <laughs> But uh, it is what it is. And look, okay, okay. My last thought. At first, I thought this was going to be a slugfest, and that Blofeld's cap was going to blow right through them. But <sighs> Hector and Schnepp actually came to play. Yes, once again, Schnepp had his luck of comic movies, but damned if they aren't good together. I'll, I'll, I'll admit, yep, I agree. So... We'll just have to see what the future holds for those guys. And in the meantime, um, any final thoughts? Otherwise, I'm closing this bad boy out. This was a fantastic match. A lot closer than I thought. All right. I really like this match as well. Yeah. It was great. It was fantastic. Schnepp has horrible luck. <laughs> right. But with that <laughs> being said... And, I mean, he had, he had all the luck he could possibly have for yeah. round two. And well, then just all the yeah. bad luck in round three. And... <laughs> You know, obviously he was just one Jared or one John Madden answer away from the win. But uh, for that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Click like and comment on this reaction. Please subscribe to Take Three Productions. But also go back to the original match. Give that match a like. Leave a comment. It's how we're going to get more and more of these matches, more and more of these great events, and continue to grow this amazing league. But that being said, for Kristen Smith, for Chris Clark, for Case Cornelisa, I'm Chris Doman. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.